I love this song. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Hey everyone, we're back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Charlotte the Vessels and um, her new song called Chasing Sunset. To say that I've been obsessed with this song is a bit of an understatement. It's been on repeat over the last week. Like, I've been enjoying it so much. I think it's such a catchy song. I love the vocals. And um, and it really reminds me of one of my, f you know, favorite trip-hop bands back in, like, the mid-2000s called Splashdown. It was really very obscure even then, but her vocals are very similar to the singer of that band, and it had such a recognizable feel to it that it, it really took me back, kind of. And so I've been really enjoying that and I just love that very much. And uh, I've I've not really seen the video in full yet. I've seen some of it, just not the whole thing. And I'm really excited to check it out today. And um, yeah, so in case you don't know who I am or what we do here on this channel, my name is Manon. I'm a filmmaker and I write, I direct, and I have been working on short, and I have been writing uh, a graphic novel, as well as have been working on my first feature for some time. And if you want to learn more about that, um, my community hangs out on Discord. Actually, we now officially have a Discord. So if you're a you know, interested in hanging out with a group of people who love music, love music videos, have a white taste. Like I've been surprised with um, how varied everyone's preferences are for music. And that's that's been so fun. And I've been learning a lot about what everyone's up to, what their favorite music is. So we talk about music videos, obviously, as well as movies and all sorts of other fun stuff, as well as gaming, actually. I'm a gamer, so... Um, if you spot my Baldur's Gate artifact in the background, I made that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very proud. Um, either way, so that's kind of what we get up to on Discord. I also go live on Twitch. Um, just did my first ever stream recently, and that was so much fun. So we do live reactions on there. And of course, if you enjoy all of this, we have a Patreon. So you can support me there. Anyway. All of that out of the way. Let's uh, get into this wonderful song by Charlotte Vessels. Of this song. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, wow. There are so many things that we can take a look at here. So what I love actually is that they put her on this set. Clearly it's a set, right? With all of these fake plants and they're clearly fake. Like there's no pretending that they're not. It, it's, it's basically as if she's in this old painting. It really feels like they went for this sort of painterly vibe. You know, she's in the Garden of Eden. She's like Eve who grabs the apple. Although now that I'm looking at it, it looks more not like a pomegranate, actually. I love the little mouse. It's funny because everything's fake. And then we have this little mouse who is obviously very real. So I thought that was an interesting contrast. Very cute. So for some reason, I hadn't quite connected the dots, but we already saw that it was a pomegranate. So I was, uh, I was right. 
um, on that when I saw her pull it off the tree. And what is funny, actually, is that in Dutch, and Charlotte is also Dutch, the word for pomegranate is grenadeappel, grenade apple, essentially. And so it's uh, it's still an apple in a way, at least in our language, you know. So so something you might find interesting. Nowadays, you know, backgrounds are usually digitally generated. So they will have a green screen, etc. Here, though, they went for a painted background, and that was far more common back in the day. They're actually called matte paintings, M A T T E. And they are still occasionally used, however, it's it's just not as common. And they could be cityscapes or skies like this or just, you know, landscapes, just anything at all. And that's what they would use and they would look quite realistic, more realistic than this one. But it's a, it's kind of a dying art also in Hollywood for obvious reasons. And it was fun because when I went on a tour of the Sony Studios lot, they actually had a building where they store all of their old matte paintings. So they still have a lot of them, um, which I found out very interesting from like a you know film history point of view. Let's also address her costume. I think it's so interesting because this thing that's the 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 breastplate kind of thing that she's wearing. It, it gives a bit of that, you know, warrior vibe, Viking vibe, which sort of goes against the grain with the, you know, the apple and sort of like the Garden of Eden kind of thing that they're doing. Very interesting choice. And then, of course, there's also the choice that they made to crop this to a four thirds ratio. So that's the why we're seeing just a square, not the widescreen. It's, it's, it's a cool effect, and it kind of fits the sort of more artsy tone of it. Love the flames as well, and I love these shots in particular. So, again, like, they have these fake plants where she's at, but then we have these animals that are beautifully shot, very shallow depth of field. We're only seeing this plane that's sharp, and everything else is very, very, very hazy. We don't even have much bokeh at all. I wonder if perhaps to make it even more hazy, they they put a little bit of Vaseline on the lens. That's sometimes what filmmakers will do to really amp up that effect to make it even more hazy looking. And it's just really beautiful because it's so contrasting to her in the garden. And this is the other one. It's the it's not an animal, but it's the flowers. And these look like real flowers. They're blossoms, and it looks like real grass, too. So they must have shot this at um, different locations with uh, with real animals and real grass and real real nature. <laughs> the thing also is, is that this, the whole color scheme of it all, and her, the way that she looks with the hair and this beautiful, she's not naked, but it's obviously very form-fitting. Uh, the breastplate and the skirt is really reminding me of the painting by Botticelli, The Birth of Venus. And I'll put up a picture. So there's definitely some art references here that are just really stunning. So when we see her take the apple, um, or the chanat apple, the pomegranate, we have a bit of a tonal shift. So all of a sudden it turns darker. She has this different costume on, which is a little bit Joan of Arc. See, again, it's very armor-like, really beautiful. And we see the band, but we also see the flames and everything. And so clearly, like, it's it's sort of... Oh, and we see this earth opening up. Definitely some interesting stuff going on there. So let's let's keep watching to see where it's going to go.
Oh. It's so dreamy. I love that we have all of these uh, the the roiling clouds and really fitting with the theme and, and we're just carrying on with, you know, what they established in the in the first minute of the video. So there's not much new. So what I loved here and what's really fun is the moment that she takes the pomegranate, the 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 backdrop, the map painting, actually comes down and reveals the band behind her. And I thought that was a really beautiful transition and also kind of fitting with her taking the apple and things turn dark. And the next time we see her, her costumes, she's changed into the armor costume and she walks up with to be with the band. And they're still indoors, but because of the way that they positioned this light here, it really looks like they're playing outdoors. And there is a smoke machine going, which is giving it a really misty vibe. And they put some of these beautiful um, fake uh, grasses here in the background too. So it still looks like they're outside. They're just somewhere else. Uh, as It looks as if they're somewhere else, but they're still in, on this set. And I love that they have this layer to the set really beautiful. I love that they sort of overlaid the images of the clouds onto her as she's singing in certain parts. Of course, this is super fitting for the song, right? The chasing sunset. So all these beautiful clouds with the, with the setting sun and this really atmospheric burning tree with the clouds and everything in the background is just um, looking really beautiful. And the color grading here is great because even the, the sky here, it's kind of graded to look like it's fire. Like, you know how the fire is lighter and brighter, the hotter it burns. So this kind of looks like that blue. And then we have the sky, which is really close to the burning fire here in the foreground. So I love that. It's really, really pretty color scheme here. And again, very artsy. I really love that they have blended some of these shots here and there of her with uh, the clouds really beautiful it's it's very dreamy very dreamy Beautiful ending. What I'm noticing though, what's really funny, here we actually see the flash of a photographer, I think, and I wonder... Did you see that? That was it. Very interesting, because I thought I saw it before during the video, and I'm fairly sure that's what it was. Um, I wonder where they kept that. Maybe they thought people wouldn't notice or they didn't have much else footage to end on. I don't know. But that's uh, that's an interesting choice. I am curious. <laughs> There's one more thing that I want to point out, and I've mentioned this before and I've explained it before in, in other videos, but um, let's look at this bit. So you can see that her her mouth is moving to the music, but the actual footage of her is slow motion, right? She's moving like this, and that's actually a common trick that you'll see in music videos. So the way to achieve that is you shoot it in slow motion. So. For example, you shoot it, you know, normal is sort of 24 to 30 frames per second. That's what my camera is currently set to is 30 frames per second. And 
if you want to shoot in slow-mo, you shoot in multiples of 30 frames per second, so either 60 or 120, depending on how much you want to slow it down. So, for example, I would guess that maybe this was shot in, you know, 60 probably. It wasn't slowed down immensely like it would look like if you shoot it on 120, it slowed all the way down to 30 frames per second because it's a, uh, so that's a four times slowing down ratio. I don't know if those are the right words, but that's, I hope it's clear what I'm talking about. So basically, if you shoot in 120 FPS, you can slow it down four times. If you shoot in 60, you can slow it down twice. So, or, or 50%, if you will. And that means that you retain en enough frames for it to look good at 30. Now, if you're gonna be shooting it at 120 FPS or 60, and you want it to look good at 30, you need to actually speed up your action by two or four times. So Charlotte will have performed this um, at twice or four times, or maybe three times, I don't know what they were shooting at. Although I don't know many cameras that do 90 FPS, but you get my drift. So she'll be doing these things, you know, normal speed or even a little faster. And definitely the song she'll be singing it, they'll be playing it for her at faster speed. So two or four times as fast so that when they slow it down, the mouse still moves the same, but all the other motions and movements are smooth. So that's how that works. Little trick, but I think it's really cool. And it works really well here too with the song and like the vibe and the style that they went for. So really beautiful video. And I absolutely love this song and I'll be, it's on repeat for me. It's a uh, really great, really lovely. And I'm starting to dig into her, um, you know, her album and I hope more is coming. I'm really excited about her and like what she's doing and all of that. So I love the sound of this. It's very, uh, unusual. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. We do breakdowns of music videos here. We talk about filmmaking and how we accomplish this stuff. Also, check out my Patreon if you want to get early access and join us in Discord, which is free. So come hang out with the rest of the community. We're having a lot of fun over there. You can find all the links in the description below. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. Peace.